Okay, we've arrived at the home of Tifosi Bikes. We're here to pick up a very special bike build. Never seen the bike, never seen the paint job. Don't know the components, well I do. But most of you don't. So, we're gonna go inside, see the bike, get some photos, do all the publicity stuff, but most importantly, get to see this bike for the first time. Also brought my wheel set to hopefully get fitted with cassette and tires. How you doing? How are you? Josh, this is Emmy. My... How are you? All right. Not too bad, is that? Quite nervous now. Are you? <laughs> hey, there's no short time, man. There's no what? There's no short time. No, no, no. Yeah, don't okay. have to ride the bike it's, today. Okay, see, it's a long one. It's a long one, right? So we've just arrived and Josh has told us that we have to wait and he's going to get some coffees and then we get to see the bike. It could be a few hours. <laughs> yeah, a few coffees. <laughs> Is this it now then? Is this? Yeah, this, this is it. Oh my word. I think I just walk in it. I don't think. No swear then. Maybe you should hold my cup actually. I'll hold your cup. <laughs> Whoa! Sorry, hello. <laughs> <laughs> What a job those guys have done on the... Yeah, I mean, I'm going to blow your mind some more. It took them three days. Wow. Entirely. And the <laughs> look at the bottle cages. They've even got the little... Well, congratulations, you have... Uh... Yeah, you've blown my mind with this. There's a sofa just there in case you need to um, have a slump. Yeah, my, my legs are wobbling slightly. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing all right for a bomb proof bike. Do you reckon it could go one by? Yes. I was kind of thinking like, play it cool the first month. Mm -hmm. uh, the events that I've seen, they're on the longer side anyway, so I think I can do those and if anything, a big ring benefits you in a way that... This is the brand new Mons. It is only a disc version. This is the first rideable prototype. Knew what was going to be done with it and the, the people, the, the brains behind the operation, to be fair, never let it slip once, um, what it would be like. I really didn't know what to expect. I, I was brings back that, that flamboyant style of cycling that we tend to see now in, in, like, in races through, through riders who are now coming through who race differently. Because you've got some pretty special kit. It, it's, it's all stuff that and a layman can buy, but actually it's really, really very, very special kit. Uh, and so if we sort of go through the bike, um, the, the first thing it's very easy to, to pick up on is the Allen Aero cockpit. It has won the Tour de France two years in a row under Pedro's Pogaccia. So it's some pretty hefty kit. Um, fully integrated, it's the DCR, which is the, the dead, dead cable routing system. So it's all integrated into the frame, so it's pretty clean really. Um, you're going to have fun as a mechanic working on on the bike. <laughs> Dead internal cable routing. It's the best cable routing there is by far but um, internal cable routing is, is so much fun to do. Uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a fantastic bit of kit. It's crazy light. 350 grams for the full cockpit. Realistically those bikes aren't going to be so great for a seven hour race or a endurance event or something where, again, that terrain is varied and you, you start losing control because it gets a bit skittish. 
this is always going to work no matter what. And, and it will just keep on going through the miles reliably. Everyone loves a new bike, don't they? The new bike day is pretty special. Um, yeah, so you were saying bare carbon. Yes. And then in order to keep the weight down, um, instead of using paint on the logos, which would you'd have to layer up, so you'd put a lot of extra weight on it. These are uh, actually decals, uh, water transport decals, which are then painted over in the clear coat. The only exception to that rule is the coloured paint uh, logos, which are a painted um, type, basically. Mm. Um, so the in, inside of the fork is, 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 is hand painted, as are the logos on the down tube and the head tube. Um, Sam and, and uh, Andy and the guys at Gun Control Paint have done a truly phenomenal job on, on this. Um, it's their best work. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, without being too biased, yeah, this is this is a phenomenal bit of bit of paintwork. I really, I've always been a fan of like the raw carbon look, mm. but the fact that it's like that, um, like that gloss, mm. uh, tiny little, as you say, it's better in the sunlight. Just you're going to need a lot of frame polish. <laughs> and, and you are going to be polishing this thing mm. a lot. Every this day. Is, this is, this is, <laughs> when, it's, when it catches the sunlight, it is glory. And Sam uh, at Gun Control Paint did come up with this top layer. The, uh, the, the clear coat has a gold. Uh, so again, when it catches the light in certain, uh, in certain angles, it really does shine. Uh, it makes the yellows pop, it makes the pink sparkle, it makes the white really bright. Couple that with the Campag finish mm -hmm. as well. On the chain set, on the rear derailleur, on the ergos, mm -hmm. you just get this amazing sparkle of carbon. Um, and in fact, the, the super types as well, they have this, this look, this yeah. sheen to it that is very iconic, really. Um, We'll do that one. I know it's close up, but I just feel like I'm going to watch the footage back and there'll be like some sort of McDonald's wrapper or blow into shot or something. If you're happy for a little bundle in the van, we'll go to uh, the next one. Um, there's a McDonald's in it. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a McDonald's not far. <laughs> <laughs> I'd look better than Cipollini anyway. <laughs> Really sad, Cardboard paradise. I've got this thing. Okay. Good stuff. Thank you so much. Sorry, that's my pleasure. Great, Josh. Yeah, cheers. Josh. Thanks, boy. See you soon. See you soon. Safe driving. Cheers. Let's go, boy. Can't wait to ride. I know. Okay, getting ready to go back. Emir, thank you for the drive up here. Uh, it's been a great day out. New bike day, who doesn't love a new bike day? Do you like the new bike? I hope you do, because you're gonna see it a lot in the next couple of weeks and months. Hope to do it justice. Hope to like put all the work that everyone's put in uh, to good effect. And I have no doubt I'm gonna have fun riding this bike, because that's the main thing. Well, hopefully I can go fast on it. Hopefully I can go fast on it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you as always. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Plenty more of this on this bike to come. See you in the next one.